Undertale is a game best experienced yourself, so if you haven't played it yet, I recommend you don't watch this. <clears throat> Still in minor. Wait, what? That was completely new. There's a message crumpled up in the trash can. It's in a strange kind of handwriting. It says, I know what you did. Um... That's interesting. What exactly did Alphys do? Oh, that's where you get the noodles. I don't think I even found those in, uh... My neutral playthrough. <sighs> it's a note from Alphys. Mm, yeah, guess, guess, guess we're gonna read it. <laughs> It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, th thanks for your help back there. You, you guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I... I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. We'll 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 loop back to that. Metaton is undergoing repairs. She seemed to think he was still okay. So I don't think she killed her him. All her other unopened letters. And someone sent her a note accusing her of what she did, and she that uh, spurred her embarrassment to uh, leave, make a note, let people know what's in the um, 
bathroom, so to speak. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! Im tether stability lost! Altitude dropping! Blackness. None of the button works. It seems to have lost power. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Yeah, I know they're Alphys' notes, Ekura. They, they have more weight to them, though. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. And that was a skip of... Four, right? Yeah. Yeah, as far as I know on that endeavor, I haven't done it myself, but as far as I know, it skips the fight entirely if you uh, pay the full price. Yeah, I've got a creepy little orchestra, a creepy little save point. True Laboratory. Filled with fake plants. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. The elevator lost power. Enter the center door. It's all you can read. Power room. Crazy new theme. Buy chips, no. No items. Still no items. Even if they're unique items we haven't seen before otherwise. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon, they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, 
then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Greetings, chum bunny. This is thoroughly creepy. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I would I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? The operating table is sticky. They all are. Oh God. Oh God. We're 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 now playing a horror game. No data available. Oh god, they're dial upping me. But nobody came. Attack 10, defense 10. You can hear voices through the receiver. Join the fun. Nine? Nine damage. <laughs> Memory head. Ah. Uh. Some Dosset, not Dollar Sitamit. <laughs> um, their memory heads do. I I don't think I want to join them, but joining them means I'm like, teasing them. That's a shame. It's a real get together. Become one of us. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. There's a red key lying in the sink. Put it on your keychain. Note on the ground, you can read part of it. Train. Dropped it. That's the key down the sink, okay. The red key fits perfectly into the slot.
apparently got four more things to open, but it opens this, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty creeped out, Ritzel. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. An empty dog food bowl. What's that little blip? <laughs> Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were on the left of it. something under the sheets. I guess... I don't want to pick up items, but... I figured it would be a key, so... Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Clock is broken. Everyone wants me to go to the bed. <laughs> I'm terrified of everything. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human, nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Pick on, clean, pray, hum, mystify. Way. Afraid of. God! What? It's, it's creepy as all hell, man. Effective. That's enough. Oh my god. I'm not sure if the big butterflies instead of bees makes that better or worse. 
It seemed effective. Do we pick out again? Let's see, does the bottom look like a frog it at all? Or a Shiren? Or a Winsome? Or a Washua? I don't really see any of those. Maybe Froggit? Maybe I just pick on again. But it was already picked on. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just get, a, get a some creepy heads at me. Okay. Uh, let's try to mystify it. It's something mysterious. Recognize it has more to learn from this world. <laughs> Afraid of that? That's what I'm afraid of. A head full of butterflies spitting butterflies at me. You wash your hands. Nothing happens. My <laughs> Oh god, they're coming back from the bottom. Hum a familiar turn, tune, but no one heard you. <laughs> Maybe it does need Jesus. Time to pray. Multiple voices talking at once. That makes sense, Calandrus, yeah. Reaper bird. Seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Kirk. Libet. Jesus. Hey there, rule. Yeah, everything. Can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can. Okay, so we've got the yellow key. That's the blue slot. Okay, greeting, Severin. That's correct, uh, fruit cakes. Thoroughly creeped out by everything right now. I, I don't know about the bed, man. Seems like a comfortable bed. Just, just take a nap. Oh god, we're on our side rather than face down. This already is a bad side. Wait, did I cancel what was about to happen, or...? Okay. Tucked, uh, tucked me in. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it? I sent the souls in the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone I'll send everyone back tomorrow. 
it'll, it'll all be good. Nothing, nothing bad. Entry number 11. N now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except when to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. That's more personal. Ooh. Also, this room freaking me out a little bit. Of course, we're going to uh, press press the switch. Oh, even better! I I, I can move around trapped in a corner. Fine, let's fight it. Face the amalgamate. Oh god. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Amalgamate is watching you intently. Pet, pet it? Hey, they're randomized. Amalgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh god. Rocket dog. It smells like a bunch of dogs. You call the amalg am amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh god. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment as the music picks up. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Don't lose hope. Hobo, stay determined. That would be funny, Ashram, but no. This is my second playthrough. I've not done a uh, genocide run. Oh, we got left first. Entry number sixteen. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, good. I did feel a little odd for there to be a um, save point there. Lemon bread. So, mold small, shiren. Uh, let's 
Let's, let's sing. You hum a familiar tune. Lemonbread's body shakes. Look at my special hell! Oh god. Oh god! Our fate rests upon you. Hobo, stay determined. But, but the things are so creepy. How can I, how can I stay determined? Let's, uh, let's, let's do, let's do this one. Let's do this one first. Let's uh, press the switch. I mean, I want to try other stuff than pet, but I'm also trying not to just get wrecked, but I guess we can try other stuff. Amalgamate is not excited enough to play with. Oh, we have to uh, pet it and then play with it, I think. Something like that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Ah, oh, still got hit. Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. I think I need to beckon it back and then play with it. The Amalgamate's feelers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. I think it's too far away to play? I either ignore it or play. I guess we'll try play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. That was almost too slow. Oh, what? It cut back a little sooner than I thought. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all of this. Endogony is contented. Pet it some more? You give it a tummy rub, but it's not clear where its tummy begins or ends. Amalgamant seems too tired to play. Yeah, okay. Hey there, Talbot! Um, 
How's it going? You miss some, uh, some dogs? Oh no, there's a stream issue apparently.